everybody. Wicked Gaming back here again. This video is for my PC players, those that have been using Darkstar Astro Dynamics, and specifically those who had downloaded Astro Dynamics from the original creations listing when it first launched on the first day of the creation kit. Um, as you might be aware, um, through necessity and advice from uh, Bethesda, I merged the uh, PC specific, the PC exclusive listing and creations with the Xbox exclusive listing and creations. Now they are both hosted under the same listing. Um, the problem is that the creations club and specifically your save where you had originally downloaded Astro Dynamics is in combination. They are remembering the original download path. So um, I don't specifically have that issue because I create the mod. I never download it. I use it locally um, with the copy that I created it from. Uh, but my primary tester, Sadir, was having the issue. And he did the research to find a solution. So I'm going to flip over to Discord and read some of that out to you. And we'll go over some of the details so that you can fix um, the Astrodynamics randomly uninstalling issue that many PC players are experiencing. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so... The issue is that the creations data in the save files is is linked to the original PC download. So you can see here, this is what hit the, that one section of the creations catalog, content catalog.txt file, inserted when he started playing again, a save that had originally downloaded from the original link. So as you can see here, and if you're experiencing Spug, you'll be familiar with the original download title was bracket PC bracket at the end to denote that it was the PC only version. The new version doesn't have any of that. It used to be bracket XB bracket for the Xbox version. And both of these end up reappearing in your file because the ESM file is identical between the original PC only download, the original Xbox only download, the now merged download, and Nexus. They're all the same .esm file. And because of the way that that your save file is remembering, I had this installed, it's, it's tracking these version numbers, it's tracking specifically these key numbers here. So this is actually the key number that's in the URL when you browse to one. So if I pop open, ignore my purchase of a, of a thing. Um, so if I, if I pop this open, you'll see CFCA357A-7226, blah, 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 blah. That's the key. And if you look back at Discord, that's that key. CE2, CFCA357. So this is, this is the active link right here, but it's only trying to get the BA2 from that active link. The ESM, it thinks it's getting from the old one. And so the creation system is confusing itself because that old version went away. Um, and any mod author that does a merge or any of that is going to have this issue. So uh, let's look at the creations catalog or the content catalog text file real quick. If I pull up my folder browser here, you'll see that it's my user path, app data, local, starfield. So you know, that's where you'll find your content catalog text. And this should be the same thing, whether you're Steam or Xbox Game Pass. Um, and then the text file itself, we can see all of the mods that I've bookmarked, downloaded, installed, any of that. So anything that my content catalog, my creations has touched, looked at, um, or, or at all done anything with. So for example, the better ship part snaps. I could take this value here and go open my browser and reconstruct the URL, the rest of the URL and navigate right to it. This is how it's tracking what I'm downloading and when and how. And for some reason, this is the version numbers that are coming down and you'll see most of them are identical. 
So these are invalid version numbers just to prove the conversation I've been having with people that this is why, this is why your updates don't work when you click update. Because these version numbers should be different for the actual version of the ESM that you're dealing with or the mod that you're dealing with. So that's a bug on Bethesda side. The fact that it's caching the old value is a bug. The old host is a bug on Bethesda side. It should be saying, your save file should say, I, I should be looking for a Darkstar Astrodynamics.esm. And then the creation's content catalog should be able to say, well, that matches up to this ID value. I know where that is. That's real. Instead, they've got your save file remembering this, file, this key value here, which can change. That's a web URL, effectively. So because that can change, it's throwing everything off. And yeah. It's just not doing it properly. So what is the fix for all of this? Let's get down to it. There are two fixes. One is non-destructive and should can either be permanent or temporary, your call. And that is to stop downloading Astrodynamics from the creations and instead download it from Nexus. So if you download Astrodynamics from Nexus, it's the same mod. You can change your save, your active save right now you can go into creations when you start up Starfield. You can turn off Astrodynamics there and, and tell it to delete Astrodynamics. Close down Starfield, download it from Nexus, put the two game files inside the zip file that comes from Nexus into your Starfield data folder, and then load up the game again, go into creations, open your load order, and turn on darkstar underscore astrodynamics.esm. And that will let the game run that mod from the Nexus download. Without a mod loader, you don't need Vortex, you don't need MO2. You just need to know where your game is installed, where the data folder is. Download that one zip file and drop the two files it contains, the .esm and the .main.ba2, those two files, into your data folder. And then you never have to do anything again. I'm always going to keep this updated on Nexus, so that is a valid option for you. If you cross play, that is not an option. So if you are a Game Pass player and you switch between PC and Xbox, you don't want to try and blend Xbox downloads with Nexus downloads. You want to use one consistent download. That was the whole point of the merge of these two downloads in the first place, was to get that cohesive for cross play users. So you can do that temporarily while you're playing on PC, but it's not going to translate well when you go back to Xbox. You'll have to re-download the mod again from the creations just to play on Xbox. It gets real dicey real fast. So the unfortunate permanent answer is to, and he goes into full detail. If you're on Discord, you can come to the Astro Help channel and read full details. Your, your permanent full answer is listed in here, and I'll give you the high level of it. It is open up your save. Get rid of all equipment that is Darkstar Astrodynamics on your character. Uh, rebuild any ships or sell any ships that use Darkstar parts. So that they don't use Darkstar parts, use only vanilla parts. Once that is 100% done, go to any outposts that have Darkstar or Lan uh, the Darkstar Terminus. And delete the Terminus from all outposts that use the Terminus. And then at that point, it would be safe to then uninstall Darkstar Astrodynamics, load that save up again that you cleaned, create a hard save so that now it's saved without Darkstar Astrodynamics involved at all. Then you can close out of the game, reopen, go into creations, download Darkstar Astrodynamics, and now your save and the content club file, the content catalog file, will remember, oh, I downloaded Darkstar Astro from this specific merged host the new darkstar astrodynamics single download that's the only way to clean it out because the problem is that your save file is actually remembering the original download path and content catalog isn't correcting it and saying no no that that esm file is located here and giving it the correct active link so you have the temporary solution for Game Pass players is that while you're on the PC, you can use the Nexus version or you can just re continue redownloading. You have the 
a permanent solution, the easy way for uh, Steam players where they can just switch to using the Nexus download and not have to not deal with creations at all and continue on their current save. And then the permanent fix is to completely uninstall and create a fresh save, uh, basically a, a new hard save of your save file, so your character um, that doesn't use DSA at all. Make sure no components are left hanging, left placed in an outpost, left sitting in your inventory, get rid of all of them, create, and then delete the mod, save that character again, that'll save without the mod active, and then you reinstall the mod from creations and you're golden from there. These won't be moving again in the future, um, so it, it would be a permanent fix. It shouldn't be necessary for you to do this. Um, this is not the way the creation should be behaving. It just, it is what it is. Um, nothing I can do about it at this point. The damage is done. Um, I followed advice I probably shouldn't, ha should have held off on and done some other investigation first, but we all live and we learn. So in addition to that information, and again, join our, join the discord. There's a, there's over 540 members, I think, uh, yeah, 542 members of the Discord. So plenty of people that are always here to help. Um, there's this pinned post right here in the Astro Help channel that has all of the details for how to fix this temporarily or permanently. The destructive path, the non-destructive path, whole nine yards. Uh, Sadir did a great job doing research and writing up the instructions. Um, and there's also information in here for a new tool that's being developed by HST12, whoever that is and Z Ogre the, and a few others I think are contributing. It is a content catalog.txt fixer app that will fix that catalog and re-download and screen scrape and do everything that shouldn't be necessary to fix that content catalog to prevent hangs, um, lockups, the corruption that that file's been causing here and there where people have had to go and delete it and rebuild it, re-download all the mods. Uh, this tool is hoping to fix all of that. I'm not involved in the project, but I've been watching as they've talked about it here. So I'm passing along the information to you. So um, I value all of you players. I wish that this wasn't scenario with the, this content catalog stuff getting weird and corrupted and doing things it shouldn't do, but I'm trying my best to help you all. And uh, hopefully you get any your issue resolved if you were experiencing the issue. and. You can move on with just gaming and having fun. Um, so I will talk to you all later. Peace.